Good morning. I'm Ron Kuby sitting in for Jack Ford, and welcome to Courtside, where you will hear both sides of every case. Lorinda Drake says she was driving through the desolate side of town when she saw a six-year-old boy wandering alone and stopped to offer help. Less than two hours later, she would find herself under arrest, charged with first-degree kidnapping. Help me, both of you. <laughs> what is going on with, with this prosecution? I'll accept the fact that Lorinda Drake is annoying and, and probably is a consistent thorn in the side of the school district. I'll, I'll be it resolved, she's one of these folks, and we've all seen them, who just get on the nerves of every administration. Uh, but it is clear that this boy did walk away from school without anybody noticing, and even if Lorinda Drake had been there every day, poised, waiting for the opportunity um, to, to find a child who walks away so she could pick him up and demonstrate the school was deficient in security. Well, she didn't have to wait very long. Why is this a kidnapping? You're, you're a former prosecutor. Tell me why this is a kidnapping. I think you're picking on me here, Ron, okay? <laughs> because you're looking for an answer to a question that I don't think can be answered. And uh, I'm a former prosecutor, so I guess I have to take the heat. But I don't understand why this is a crime. It's not. Not only did they not know that he went missing, not only did they have no explanation for allowing him to go get something to eat without supervision, but they didn't even know he was missing for a very long period of time. And you can tell by the testimony of this uh, manager that she immediately tried and convicted the person who rescued this kid of being some kind of evil kidnapper before she even knew the facts. Well, this is what the law was intended to do? It's not. Let's talk about unintended consequences then. Let's talk about why we New Yorkers are sometimes called jaded. Because a lot of us aren't going to be good Samaritans. A lot of us, and um, I don't include myself here, Ron, I still not. try to do the right thing. But how many people have you heard say to you, I'm not getting involved? Or I'm not. I'm not going to help this person out. What What's going to happen to me? This because is the kind of society. Have a duty. The reason why is because we actually, as members of society, do not have a duty well, to come to the aid duty. of others. Right. We don't but have a legal duty. And this is right. the reason why. Well, this, we, is, this hey, kind of God case forbid. is all the reason why we shouldn't come to the aid of right. others. God forbid we should help somebody, right. and now we're on the hook. I mean, this is what this case's message is. This oh, is okay. terrible. But, but in, in in fairness, I, I mean, it wasn't as though she grabbed little rush. Days from the jaws of sudden death. He was a little boy walking toward a home where which he couldn't find alone, which was a bad thing. But 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 it's not as though he had fallen down some sort of a mine shaft and and was you know expiring from suffocation when she quote unquote rescued him. Right? Well, I let's mean, ask you know, she was looking for an issue to make an issue out of, and she found one. Okay, I'm not even sure that that is 100% accurate, but let's assume that it is, because I don't even see that much in this case that says she really was grinding an axe. Sure, she was probably a thorn in the side, a squeaky wheel, but let's assume that she was, okay? Put yourself in this situation. Let's use the reasonable man, say, I'm the reasonable man. Every time they, re they refer to that person, here he is, he's right here, Got okay? It. So I'm driving down. I just dropped my kid off at that school. I've got my younger one in the car. It's 9.05. I see a kid uh, far enough away from the school to make it very suspicious. The kid says he's going home with a tummy ache. That doesn't happen. Schools don't allow that. I picked that kid up. Now, I may not have called who she called, but I would have done the same thing. Mike, well, you're try this. She has a student, or her own child goes to Joe Mackey. So, and the kid is wearing a Joe Mackey uniform. That's why the prosecution elicited that. So, so let's face it, she, she probably had a pretty good idea. Gee, Joe Mackey uniform looks just like my kid's uniform. Probably goes to Joe Mackey, number one. N number two, while the little boy didn't know where he was, um, he has a backpack. She, had she looked in his backpack, she would have found his address. She, she didn't do that. So the, the prosecution is not totally crazy here, although obviously the case is wildly overcharged. Well, you, you sound like a defense attorney preparing a cross-examination. I'm shocked, <laughs> all right? And she is going to have some difficult moments on cross. She's got some judgment errors, some uh, misguided moments to answer for. They're going to be uncomfortable. But the bottom line is, was she trying to criminally uh, kidnap somebody? Yeah, she wasn't. And, you know, is it all that crazy for her to say to herself, all right, this kid's a Joe Mackey. They have lost this kid. I don't trust them as far as they can throw him. I'm going to notify the proper authorities. Does that make her a criminal? An Absolutely not. So. Let's so. see the prosecutor's point for one small fraction of this show, okay? okay. And that is that I think that if it were you, or if it was me, or if it was you, I think we probably would have gone back to the school with the kid, even with those doubts. Now, does that mean she's a criminal for not doing that? 
If she had notified anybody and sat on the kid for a while, that would have been bad. But she immediately made calls. Come on, this case never should have been brought. Right. I mean, I think she exercised some, some questionable judgment, and I think it also shows that, that she was using this situation for her own ends. But but her own ends were to improve school security and embarrass a, a school which, frankly, under the circumstances, very much deserved to be embarrassed. Agreed.